Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Back Yard Yoga. I don't know about you, but I have been walking a lot during this quarantine, like miles a day. And sometimes, I'll be honest, I forget to stretch after um, and before. So if you find yourself in the same situation, or maybe you're just sitting at your desk at home, working, 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 this is a great exercise, a great routine to do when you feel like you might need to stretch. So hop on your mat and let's get started. Start at the very tip top of our mat, standing. So our hands are really down by our sides. Starfish, lots of energy in our fingertips. Feet are planted underneath us. Shoulders are back and down, really opening up this heart space. Really strong mountain pose. Tadasana, as I like to say. Feeling a lifting sensation in the front as you breathe, and a grounding sensation in the back. So I'm lifting as I inhale and grounding as I exhale. Once you're ready, we're just going to take this right hand and swim it around behind us. Left hand swims around behind us. And if you can, grasp both of your hands if you're like, yeah, that's not me. It's okay. Just put them, put them behind you and open up this heart space. Shoulders are back and down. And you're breathing. Putting a little bend in those knees. We're going to guide our nose looking forward and sending those knuckles up to the sky. So, stretching out our lower back and upper back. You can shake your head yes and no. Feeling that foot to earth connection. Whoo, and breathing. <laughs> Gently dropping those fingertips to the earth. We're going to plant our hands on the ground, stepping back with our right foot, finding ourselves in a lunge. Now from here, let's go ahead and lower that back knee. Your left knee is over your left ankle. Make sure this is nice and straight over that left ankle. And just look forward a little bit. Come on to those fingertips. Looking forward. And we'd like to, you can stretch all the way up. Bring this left hip crease back. Thinking about these thighs and pulling them in. Hands can come up overhead or right here. Anjali Mudra at the heart. You should feel a nice stretch. And we're breathing. Everything is still lifting. If this is too much, you want to be right here? Absolutely. Said. Hands are going to come up if they're at Anjali Mudra or if they're overhead. Let's go ahead and rain them down in front of us, painting that wall, planting our palms to the earth, peeling these left toes back toward our face, looking out or in. Your choice. Listening to your body. It feels good after your walk. Or after sitting in that chair. Whew. Planting that left foot down, we'll go ahead and plant our hands on the earth, picking up that right back knee, putting a bend in both, and then stepping forward with that right foot, we'll find ourselves in forward fold. On a deep inhale, lifting all the way up, fingertips coming, boop, overhead, raining them down by our sides. Moving your shoulders, wiggle, wiggle if you like, for a moment. And then on a nice deep inhale, we'll swim this left arm behind us and this right arm. And here again, if you'd like, 
to uh, gra grasp your hands together. You can if you're like, no, it's not for me. Don't have to. But this time, if you are grasping your hands together, put that funky thumb on top. So that funky thumb is going to go the different one that you had on top. Pull it down and back. Opening those shoulders, opening that heart space, and breathing. Feeling those four corners of the feet connecting the ears. So grateful for this time you've taken for yourself. Just a few minutes out of your day. And putting a little bend in those knees, taking those fingertips and guiding them up to the sky, dropping that head forward. Really reaching, feeling that dynamic tension, the lifting of your knuckles toward the sky and the releasing of your head. Making sure you have a little bend in those knees and your breathing. Floating, whoo, those hands down to the earth, palms finding the earth, stepping back with our left foot this time. If this is good, you can stay right here just for a moment. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drop my back left knee. So my right knee is over my right ankle. You can be right here if you'd like. If you wanna stay, and this is a really good stretch for you, stay here. If you'd like to go ahead and lift all the way up, Everything is lifting. Our thighs are really engaged and pulling in. This right hip crease is pulling backwards. Hands right here at the heart, Anjali Mudra, or you can take them up overhead. Totally up to you. I'm going to bring mine to the heart today. Feel that stretch. Feel the lifting. We're not crunching in our lower back. And we're breathing. Wherever your hands are, let's bring them down and find the earth. And then planting our hands, our palms, on the earth. Taking these right toes and peeling them back toward our face. You can extend this leg as much as you can. If it doesn't uh, go straight, <laughs> there's absolutely no worries. So looking in if this feels better, or looking out, flexing these toes. You know, it could be different from your other side. Each side, I have learned, is very different. And you're breathing. Ooh. And then lowering that right foot down, planting our palms, picking up our left knee, putting a bend in both knees and walking that left foot up to meet the right, finding ourselves in this forward fold. From here, you can shake your head yes and no. Sometimes people like to grasp their elbows. You can bend your knees as generously as you want. No one says that you have to have your legs straight in a forward fold. In fact, I've found the benefits of not having my legs straight. Whew. And then lifting all the way up, slowly all the way up. Fingertips are going to come and kiss overhead to rain them down by our sides. Again, palms finding the earth. We'll step back with our right foot and our left foot finding a plank pose. And we're just here for very simply three, two, and one lowering those knees to the ground. We'll send our booties all the way back, feeling a child's pose, a balasana for just a moment. Forehead comes and kisses the earth. We'll breathe in nice and deep. Releasing, relaxing. So we walked a mile or six miles or Whatever you've done, or maybe you're just like, ah, I was sitting on the desk and needed to stretch. <laughs> I'm a moment of stillness.
<laughs> and then we'll walk our hands when you're ready all the way up, sitting up and back, shoulders come down and back. And we'll swivel wiggle to our booties, sending our legs out nice and long in front of us. So our shoulders are back and down, our head is lifting towards the sky. We take this right leg and gently place it over our left leg. I'm taking this left arm and swimming it around and right arm is going to swim around to the back, looking towards our right. I'm not trying to crank into this pose, but just very gently twisting. Left toes are flexed. I think you're going to find a much greater stretch if you don't let this foot just kind of hang out if you really stretch those toes and flex those toes. Half the word of the fishes is what this is called. And we're breathing. On a deep inhale, exhaling it out, sending this right leg out nice and long. Left leg comes up and in, adjusting those shoulders. Left leg comes over our right leg. Left arm swims around, right arm comes around. Bolster ourselves up nice and tall. And you know, if this is not an option, you just want to hold that leg in, you absolutely may do so. Sorry, I should have said that on the other side. So we're here looking over this left shoulder, or we're here. Whatever feels best for you. And there again, it could be different for both sides. Making sure we really flex those right toes toward our face. You are going to feel a different stretch, I promise. And we're here. Just breathing. gently we'll come back to center bringing our head around now taking our left leg and putting it towards the earth we'll walk both of those feet up and in hugging them towards you oh that bird <laughs> hugging your knees in like this or like this your choice got taking that nose looking forward putting a little stretch in that So thankful for this time you have taken for yourself. Few minutes. Stretch. Maybe reflection. Be forward with your nose. With your tongue. It's real nice. Crisp cross applesauce if you want. If you're like, no, that's not me. Don't do it. Hands are going to come up. Overhead, really stretching. Palms come to touch, bringing those hands all the way down to our heart space. Thank you for taking this time with me and for yourself. And we listen. Namaste. Have a great day.